on the Good Morning Artesia Radio Show and uh, questions to answer. Yes. As far as the uh, Southern New Mexico State Fairs. Yeah. Okay, so the Southern New Mexico State Fair was last week. Okay. The Eastern New Mexico State Fair is this week, mm-hmm. and only certain counties can compete in the Southern New Mexico State Fair in Las Cruces. Eastern is in Roswell, mm-hmm. Travis County, and um, believe it or not, Eddy County is not one of the counties that compete in the Southern. Right. But they can, in of course, in the Eastern. In the Eastern. Yeah. yeah. And Eastern um, used to only allow us certain counties, but they've opened it up to everyone a few years, several years ago, Haley says. Thank you, Haley. Yeah. So we appreciate the update, and uh, like I said, right now, you can uh, catch the uh, yeah. the swine show from the... So fun. Eastern New Mexico State Fair. Yeah, so. they have that little stick that they just like yes. tap them. Tap yeah. them. It's kind of cool. All the little things that they do to, for have, all the have, different animals. Have you tried that different. on your little kids? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. That might work, though. <laughs> do you think? It might get you in trouble. With who? If they don't say anything. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, man. So, well, uh, um. Sorry, let me open I think up the chamber. I think the other thing, uh, yeah, I was going to do the same thing. The other thing that, um, do I have that on the air? I do. <gasps> you have the electronic version of Chamber Chat this time. So you can click the links. I can. See, I've, got, I've got it right here. That's do cool. Do we need to follow them to make sure they work? Do you want to <laughs> try that on the air? Did you catch my <laughs> silence? That's okay. There was Voter. one that was missing. I did get a phone call yesterday. There was one that was missing. That's I'm okay. I'm so sorry. That's but. okay. Uh, voter registration. We've talked about this before. Mm-hmm. Uh, early voting starts... The 11th. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. One week. So if you want to be able to vote in the midterm November 8th general election... Yes. You probably need to be registered to vote by October 11th. Yes. Before the early voting And all your starts. things updated. So if you are not registered or you need to update address, county, whatever, mm-hmm. um, please stop by the chamber. We have the forms. Any of us can help you with it. Um, and then we'll get that ballot mailed off. Or not ballot, but the, the form mailed off for you guys. Okay. So, And then the thing th- on the chamber chat is... A per- one of the perks of being a member, or I mean, it could be any company, but if, if your people, because we are open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5, but if your people work 5 to 5, you know, or whatever, and they can't make it into the chamber during our office hours, um, we'll come to you. If you've got a, a chunk of your staff or, you know, managers or whatever that need to be registered to vote, mm-hmm. we'll come out there. Just holler at us. Okay. Let us know. So you are certified registrars. Yes, it's called. Man, it has an acronym. Okay. I think of VRA. I think is what they call it. Voter registration agent. Agent. Okay. Something like that, if I remember right. Okay. But yeah. So do you have to like take a test? Do you have to pass a background check? Do you oh, all the things. You have to get blood, fingerprints. Really? No, I'm kidding. Wow. No, no, you don't. <laughs> and what was the no. name of your first pet? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all your passwords. And your mother's maiden name and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, so you guys are, yes. you've got s- several of your staff members that are. Mm-hmm. All three of us. Authorized for that. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. So one week away, um, but if. Come to the chamber if you can. If you have a lunch break, whatever, we're open. Um, if you can't, then holler at us and we can come to your facility or your workforce. And we can come at a different time if it happens to be super early in the morning or late at night. <laughs> uh, we will make it work. So, good, yes. good. Well, that's that's a good service to be able to offer. And if you're a chamber member, you guys don't. Yeah, we want to be better than 50% mm-hmm. last time, you know. Yeah. So we really want people to come out and vote um, in this election, and we've got a week to register. So get registered if you're not. Yes. Get updated if you need to. Mm-hmm. Uh, otherwise, if you're up to date and registered, get ready to vote. Yes. Uh, early and often, as we used to say <laughs> back in Mississippi. Um, yes. No, so early voting. I'm not a huge fan of the early voting thing. Yeah. I, I kind of think. You know, election day is election day, and you should vote on election day unless you can't 
and that's what the absentee process is for. But uh, we're, we're such a, our attention span is nanoseconds. Yes. And we're, we're too busy. And so we make all kinds of excuses as to why we can't vote on election day because yeah. I got this to do, that to do, whatever. Um, I think Mike Winters has said that, has mentioned this as an idea, and I'm sure other people have as well. We ought to make election day a national holiday. Yeah. And so the banks are closed, the post office isn't running. It, you know, it's it's a federal holiday. So schools are closed. I mean, everything is off, and you just minimize as many excuses as possible for people to not vote. Nope. Obviously, you've got your emergency services and essential services and, and other people that are going to be open, but mm -hmm. the polls are open for 12 hours. Yeah. Uh, you would think, <laughs> uh, and I think I would think most businesses, not everyone, but most businesses are probably accommodating. Hey, can I have an extra half hour at lunch today? I'm going to go vote. Yeah, for sure. Not not everybody can, but I, right. I would think most right. of them are that and way. And usually, there's, you know, it used to be also the location. You had to go to your certain location, and now it's the convenience location. So. I think Artesia has three or four different convenience locations, and Carlsbad you can go will have to a any bunch. of them. Yeah, yeah. and that's kind of cool. You can cool. be in Carlsbad if you're an Eddy County resident. Register mm -hmm. in Eddy County. Mm -hmm. You can go to any of the voter destinations, oh, yeah. uh, locations in Eddy County. So if you're in Jal, yeah, well, that's right? not Eddy County. It's not Eddy County. That's Lee County. Oh. So Just that kidding. would cause a problem. If you live in Jal or go to Jal for the day, do not try to vote. In Eddy County. In Eddy County. That's right. Sorry. Vote in Lee County. My mistake. That's that's okay. Haldeman in Hermosa. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's crazy, and it's not like I want to make a mistake. I, I know. I'm trying. But, um, yeah, anywhere in Eddy County. So if you're in Carlsbad and you're not going to get back to Artesia, mm -hmm. go buy a, a, a voting location in Carlsbad. Or if you're in Artesia and you're not going to get back to Carlsbad, you're, you're right. You can go to you any go. of the voting yep. polling places on Election Day. And it, furthermore, if you show up and there's a big long line at one of them, mm -hmm. one another one two minutes away yeah. may not have a long line. You That's never right. know. That's so. right. Or you could do like I did Sunday. What'd you do? I walked back and forth at the Walmart trying to find the an open uh, checker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you got some steps. Instead of your stand goal, you got steps goal. I got steps in. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Until I got behind the lady in the cart and it was going like two steps a second, you know. It's yeah. Like, Gotta go. Gotta go. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, I got stuck this weekend. And I tell Lana these tales of woe, and she's like, shh, <laughs> every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got stuck where? At Walmart. Uh -huh. I got stuck um, on, so on Saturday night, I had taken things out of my purse to put it in my pockets. So I don't have to carry my purse at Red Dirt Black Gold, right? Right. Well, s forget to put it back in my purse. Of course. So I get to Walmart to the checkout, and I don't have my debit card. Hmm. I'm so thankful for that little scanner bar thing on the uh, Walmart app, or else I would have been like, oh, yep, yep. go put it all away. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be right back with my debit card. I bought a new monitor for Jeffrey, mm -hmm. and it had the strings with the security thing on it. Oh, yeah. And at the checkout, her, she didn't have hers, so I had to go to customer, customer service. service. Oh, no. It took four different people before mm -hmm. they finally got it to detach. Wow. You know, I was wow. about ready just to grab a scissors and go, you know. Yeah. Y'all figure this out later. I'm going. Yeah. But they finally huh. figured it out. Was it, they just didn't know how, were they it wasn't new? Being, no, no. I think it was just being uncooperative. Oh, yeah. It happens. It, it happens, yeah. And it was just uh, funny. But I got to hear an interesting story. Apparently somebody had bought a TV, left, came back to return it, got their money back. And then when the store staff opened up the box, was not the same television oh, that no. was on the box. They put their old TV in it. Yeah. And kept it. <gasps> yeah. Those little thieves. Uh, that's what they are. Did they, well, if they would have paid with the card, they would have known who it was. But if they paid cash. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Isn't that crazy? P the things yeah. that people will do to, yeah. to. That's not nice. It's not. It's not. It's just. It's wrong. People are yeah. wrong. People are wrong. So I got to hear that story while they were going you know, through different people trying to get my 
I have a confession story. Uh-oh. Do we have a, a confession music? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. No. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, first moved back from college to Roswell. Okay. Bought our first house. Starting to put furniture and things in it, right? Mm-hmm. Well, poor college kids don't, you know, so we go to Sam's Club for our first dining room table. Found what I wanted. I mean, it's perfect. I loved it. Okay. So, get the table and didn't have a way to pick it up that day. So, I'll be back for, with my husband's truck, whatever, whatever. So, I go, they, they said, we'll call you when we have it in the bay. You pull up in the back, whatever. Yeah, okay. Well, that happened like a week later. So, they call. Come pick it up. All right. I go pick it up. Well, it was under his name. Mm-hmm. And I, I, sh- I hey, I, we're husband, wife, whatever. This is my name, you know, whatever, whatever. I signed for it. They highlighted it. They picked, it's picked up. It's whatever. I go home. We put it together. We're enjoying the table. Yeah. A week later, mm-hmm. we get a phone call from Sam's Club <sighs> saying, can you please come pick up your table? If you don't pick it up, we're going to have to put it back out on the floor. Whose table did you get? And I said, well, um, we already picked up our, th- I'm, we've yeah. got it. We, we're good. I don't, we, yeah. you know, we, well, no, ma'am, we've got your table here at customer service. We really need you to come pick it up. And I'm like, okay, I'll be right there. So, <laughs> so here's my confession. You got two tables. I got the table. And, and I said, you know, it just wasn't our style. Can I, can I get a oh. refund? <laughs> so we ended up with a brand new Dyson vacuum, uh. a ladder. <laughs> <laughs> other things that we needed for the house and i'm uh, like well i tried to tell y'all i did already pick it up yeah you tried well you weren't intentionally trying to i wasn't intentionally it is trying. weird shopping experiences are weird we bought a little portable generator at a big box store in roswell mm-hmm. and uh three four five days into using it the pull rope came oh. out <laughs> just came out so on the app it said they had another one in roswell so I put everything back in the box. We go up to Roswell, and I said, this has got a defect. Can I exchange it for the one you've got here in the store? Mm-hmm. They can't find it. It's on the app. It's showing on their inventory. But it's gone. They can't find it anywhere. Nowhere to be found. I said, well, what do we do? Well, we'll let the manager know, and they'll order another one, and that'll trigger one to come in. So we wait three, four days. Mm-hmm call them back up hey did you ever get it's showing you still have the one you ever get that in no well <laughs> what are we going to do here yeah i got a What's defect the generator doesn't work and you have one on the shelf that you can't Supposedly, find yeah. or whatever and he says um order it online another one have it shipped to store mm-hmm. and then you can bring your old one in and we'll swap them out that way so that's how I was able to get the other one in, is I ordered the replacement on Did line. you have to pay twice? No, no. He I, refunded I, you for the, okay. Yes, yes. Good. I went through the whole process. But it's, it was weird because either clear it out of your inventory yeah. or get another one in. And I'm, I'm thinking a lot of these places, uh, new shipment of stuff is triggered by inventory levels. Mm. So as long as it was showing that they had one in the store... It was never going to trigger. They couldn't order so, another one. Yeah, oh. it, I'm, I'm thinking that has a lot to do with some of these yep. some of these places, you know. Yeah. Um, That's. But it was it what, was weird yeah. what we had to go through to get that new one. resolved. Hmm. Um, on that. Yeah, and if they take it out of inventory, there's probably a ton of paperwork the manager has to do to. Yeah. Report why it's out of inventory, but it wasn't sold. Yeah, 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 and I'm thinking, know. well, that's not my problem true i just need a generator that works i don't need yes. this generator yes you know yes. so you you all figure out what your problem is and, and correct it on the back end yeah but it, yeah it is it is crazy and then and but i <laughs> you're a thief <laughs> i mean i tried but it's not to like tell you them. tried to do I that i did and yeah. i think it was just because his name was on the table and i signed my name <laughs> maybe I don't know. Or maybe two different people. Po- I, who knows? And you know what is really cool about that? Yeah. I had the table for years and years and years. Um, 
And the Dyson vacuum actually yes. just went out last year. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> it worked out great. Oh, my gosh. Anyhow. Well, shopping stories with Jean <laughs> and Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I'm, I, I tried yeah. to do the right thing. And they you tried. They were like, no, you man, it's right here. Clearly, it's right here. And I'm like, clearly, it's in my living or my dining room. You offered to do the right thing. Yeah. Well, because of my Anywho. generator experience, the next time we bought something from that retailer, uh -huh. they didn't have one here. They had one in Alamogordo, and uh, we phoned the store, and we talked to an associate, and we said, before we drive all the way over from Artesia, your thing says you've got five of them in stock. I want you to go lay eyes upon them. Please. Please. Yes. Before yes. we drive all the way over there. Yeah, we got them here. I'm looking at them. Now, I can only assume yeah. that they're telling the truth. Yeah. And and they, they did have one when we got over there. Okay, but, good. But, yeah, you get a little... Nervous. Nervous when you look at the inventory number, you know, mm -hmm. what's in stock. And then the other one that's um, limited supply is another term that you'll see on yes. the app sometime, which means it may or may not be there. Yeah. It may or like, may not have one. What does that mean? Yeah. I don't know. It means that uh, somebody bought one and then stuck another thing in the box and returned it <laughs> <laughs> yeah i w at least wasn't that bad yeah gosh that's okay you know craziness goes on you just got to yeah. deal with it nowadays but i can just imagine theft you know loss reports on some of these retailers yeah. and how much people steal and rip off and yeah, it's just, it's crazy. It's, yeah. It's, it's crazy. I even get nervous, like, at the self-checkout. Yes. If I pick up two things and I, you know, I've got one thing in each hand and I scan my right hand first just because that's my dominant hand, mm -hmm. I always worry, are they thinking that I'm going to put both in the car, in the bag, you know? <laughs> so I purposefully scan this one, like, in the camera so they can see. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing. They've got the cameras yeah. now. They can see yeah. what you're doing and uh, all that kind of stuff so. you know i actually heard on the back end of that mm -hmm. a lot of people have their debit card numbers now on the back side of the card because the eyes in the sky were screenshotting when people would pull out their debit card to like pay and they, like the machine might not be ready yet or whatever and they were just holding it waiting to s insert or swipe and they were just holding it and then the people up for and then they were yeah. stealing card numbers. It's it's the modern day version. Back in the day, long before you first even thought about buying, you know, getting two dining tables for the price of one. <laughs> when you ran a credit card, you had the you had the paper and you had the you put the card in the machine, you put the paper with the carbon Oh yeah, and in, then and then you ran the thing yep, across mm -hmm. the top and then that gave you a copy and them a copy. But then that carbon thing, and they'd throw that in the trash, and people were getting those because they could lift numbers and information off yeah. of those things. And so you sometimes you would go to use it, and you would request that that receipt be, or that shredded. carbon be shredded. And so stores would have a little shredder sitting right there so you could watch them wow. shred it after you concluded the transaction. Yeah. So, so then we went to crazy. electronic, and that, that eliminates all of that. But yeah. now you got these eyes in the sky. Yep. And, and now the card numbers are being printed on the back yeah. of people's cards because yes. of that. It's, it's crazy. crazy. I know. It's 835. Know. Shall we break for some news? Sure, and then we'll talk chamber chat. All right. We'll cool. be back with more on the Good Morning Artesia radio show. Now for a Pecos Valley news update.